Good morning, brats. So today is going to be a pretty productive day. It's going to be one of those days where I split it between household chores and artwork. So it's going to be a little bit hectic because I do have to leave the apartment, which is unfortunate, but I need groceries and I need to do things like that. So, you know, adulting gets in the way sometimes. So we'll, we'll, we'll survive. This should be my only cup of coffee today. I made a pot, but mm, I think today's going to be a tea day. I need to chill out a little bit. So Earl Grey and green tea all day long, I think, is what it's going to be. So on the schedule for today, I have completed recently two pieces, one of which, if you follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, you've already seen. That's this little cutie right here. Oh my God, I love her so much. I have to say, I think I enjoy working on 8x10 a lot more than I thought that I would. I have been stuck in 5x7 mode for quite a while. My goodness, I've been doing little 5x7s for a long time and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, but I just received some new supplies a few days ago and I think I'm going to do eight by tens and I will be doing five by sevens throughout the year, but I think I'm going to go eight by 10 and then even smaller. I'll show you those supplies later in this vlog. I think am I going to show them to you? Yeah, I think I'll show them to you this vlog. So that girl was done. I recently also finished up this sweetheart with brand new supplies. Oh my God. I tried gouache for the first time. I gave you sneak peeks of my new supplies on my social media accounts. So if you don't follow me there, you had no idea. But now you do. I am beginning to play with gouache. This is my first experiment with gouache. I have filmed a video for this and that is scheduled to go up soon. By the time you see this vlog, that video will already be up, I believe. So I won't even continue discussing it. Both of these little ladies are on my Etsy shop if anyone wants to go grab them or add them to your favorites, whatever. So those two are complete. And today, what I'm going to do is my first color in chat for 2020, and I'm doing it out of Stardust Space Lust. So for those of you who are my coloring book fiends, who have been waiting for my coloring books, new color in chat is coming soon. So I will be working on that and progress on the comic book. Oh, the comic book is all the way over there. I will be working on the comic book a little bit more uh, I'm not going to show you the pages because right now, well, let me show you the, the process of the page really quickly because I have this page that I started inking last night and I think I'm trying to be easy on myself by giving myself one page completely inked per day. However, if I can't get to one whole page, then what I'm doing is allowing myself to at least put down the preliminary line work. So this right here is just, and it's not even complete, but it's one layer of ink. I still need to clean this up a little bit and fill that in. But this is what a full page would look like when it's completely rendered. So you can see that there's a quite more, there's quite a bit more work that needs to be done on the line work in order for it to be completed, right? So this is just the scary initial ink. Nothing ever looks good at this stage. You have to give it a little bit more time to develop and look like this. I love this page. This is the main character, by the way. Everyone, this is your official first formal introduction. Well, maybe not a formal introduction. It is, yeah, it's your first informal introduction to Margaret Blackwell. Say hello to her. You will be seeing her more later. So comic book work, coloring book work, by means of a color in chat and I may or may not see this is this is the problem I have is that I put way too much on my plate and then I beat myself up when I cannot get to it I may begin this new piece today I don't know this is tentative I have no idea maybe I'll put down an initial layer or two but that may be something that I would like to do today and I also have this little <laughs> a self-portrait I in the back of my coloring books I always put a little self-portrait on 
the last page, although I think I'm switching this last page to the front because I don't think anybody really looks at the back page. So I have this, this is me, and of course I'm themed to Stardust Space Lust. So this is going to be the face sheet for, or my self-portrait sheet for my next coloring book. So I'm not releasing any, any hints yet. No, it's not princess themed, although you may think so by looking at this. So yes, that's going to be it for today. It, I say, even though it's a laundry list of everything to do. Oh, on top of that, I have to do laundry. So, okay, I'm going to shut up. Sit back, grab a snack, a drink, or clean whatever you're doing while you're listening and or watching this vlog. Let's get on into it. Are you ready for poopies and peepees? Okay, let's go then. Bentley, is there something wrong with your tail? <laughs> Does your tail itch? Well, it looks normal now. <laughs> tail issues again. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Hey, are you having tail issues, sir? Or you were? This is what I am up to at the moment. I am updating my Etsy shop. Those prints that we've discussed, that we've been discussing for a couple of vlogs now are getting set up in the store and they're not for sale just yet. I don't know if they're going to be available this vlog or in an upcoming vlog. I have no idea, but we'll figure it out and they'll be available soon. I will let you all know when they will be available. Um, I want to say sometime in February. That sounds about right, but again, I will let you all know. Good morning. Good morning, my fiends. <laughs> How annoying am I being today with my coffee and my teacup? Mm. I love drinking coffee from a teacup. What can I say? Just makes me feel so fancy. I drink my tea out of teacups as well. Unnecessarily, I do have mugs, but teacups are just so dainty and cute. Come on. Let me flex my high maintenance female muscle, would you? So today I have, aside from a healthy chunk of day jobbing, I have a huge chunk of chores that I need to get to and artwork. I have been working on a new illustration with gouache. This is where my brain has been as of late with these colors in particular. I am loving this tropical color palette. This yellow, I think I would like something a little bit brighter, but overall the greens, the oranges, the yellows, the warm tones are speaking to me a lot. If you've been with me for a while, you know that over the course of the past, what, six months or so, I've been really delving into the warmer colors and loving them. So I've been starting a little bit of work on this 
as you can tell, very much in keeping with the same color palette that I did on this little gal here. This was my first gouache piece. I still have so much to go in terms of learning about gouache and all of that. So it's, it's going to be a little while before I finally feel comfortable and secure saying that, yes, I do have a grip on it. But experimentation, baby, that's what we do. So I have to do a little bit more work on that. And I have to work a little bit more on my cover for the new coloring book. I've been stalling a little bit. Uh, the initial plan was to have my coloring book completed the first couple weeks of February. So it may have to wait a little longer, but that's okay. We're still on track. The book is done. The only thing that needs to get completed now is the cover. So no worries there. Next is the comic book. My God, I have only taken about four days off of the coloring book. By the time this vlog is up, it should be February, early-ish February. Let me lift this up a little so you can get a better view. Did that help? <laughs> no? Did that help at all? Uh, let's see. Let's try that again. A little bit better? Oh. So in all of January, I took four days off of working on the comic. And having said that, for only having taken four days off, I'm only about halfway done. Can you even believe? Look how cute she is. Oh, she's adorable. So that needs to, uh, the process needs to somehow be expedited because I want this freaking comic book inked by the end of February, period. And we're going to do a little bit more work on that today. And then I have to ship some artwork, which is always very exciting. I have this adorable little bat that has flown off to a new home or will soon be flying off to a new home. So that has to go... And then this little lady as well. She will be taken off pretty soon. I do have a video for this one. This was my first illustration of 2020 and she is now going bye-bye. <laughs> if you, I don't know why. This, well, no, I do know why. My favorite part of packaging artwork now. My Ralphs have made it so enjoyable. I do have a video explaining these Ralphs in detail, how they came about. In my Instagram highlights, I have a highlight that is designated for studio shots, you know, behind the scenes, art table, desk views, all that kind of thing. I have a short story that explains what these are all about, but just really quickly, if you are unaware, in every single order from my Etsy shop, every physical order, not downloadable coloring books or anything, but physical, actual physical product orders will be receiving a Ralph. I initially created 100 of these little things and I sign them, I number them on the back and I put them into the packages. So everybody's going to get a hand watercolored golden Ralph. If you know my channel and you know me, you know all about Ralph. But if you don't, watch that video. I need to get on with my day. So, like, oh, oh, God, one more thing. As if, as if I didn't have enough on my plate to do. I need to do some more work in the Etsy shop. Adding the templates for, the listing templates for my art prints that I've been talking about selling because those are all going to be for sale in February. Okay. Prints, shipping, comic book, coloring book, new illustration, off I go. I will see you guys later.
Hello, hello everyone. I'm doing this a little bit differently. I set you a little bit higher just so that we don't have any of the uh, quadruple chin and up the nose action today. So hopefully this angle is going to work a little bit better. We'll see. So hi, welcome to this vlog episode's wrap up. Gouache is where it's at. Comic book and coloring book is essentially what we've been playing with this week. You saw me play with the gouache a little bit. Uh, progress on the comic book, which I haven't touched the coloring book in three, four, four days? Eee, four to four days. I know that is so long and I do feel guilty about it, but the comic book or rather the coloring book has been delayed because I've been spending hours and hours on the comic book. That's not okay. That coloring book needs to come out this month. So I pushed the comic aside temporarily and I have been working on getting the coloring book completed. At this moment, I have only the cover to do. I started playing with the colors last night and I, I feel like I'm kind of getting somewhere in terms of landing on a decision, but I still have a way to go. I was thinking about perhaps putting it up to voting and allowing all of you, my lovely heathens, to help decide the color scheme for the cover. I may do that on Instagram, I may conduct a poll on Facebook, or perhaps on both platforms. I'm unsure yet what I'm going to do, but if you follow me on Facebook, then Facebook and Instagram. I will definitely be posting an announcement about the cover. What else do I have to talk about? I have been, do I sound breathy and exasperated today? I've been running around the desert all morning. I mean the desert, desert, the dirt, the cacti, the rocks, the wind, the dust, all of it. My hair is flat. My hair when I left today was super poof and now it is just completely <laughs> flattened. Nature, nature will do that to you. And as the desert's resident vampire, I let nature do her thing. And as always, I don't bother brushing my hair. All right, so uh, I'm just, I feel, I'm feeling it. You know when you spend hours and hours outside exposed to the elements, you just feel a little worn down. That's how I'm feeling, but I'm good, I'm good. I have my coffee over here ready for me, surprise, surprise, and I have a tea over there actually, so we're, we're double fisting the caffeine today. And Prince, 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 the Prince, you also saw that in this vlog. I have not listed them on Etsy yet. I have all of the templates. What is happening with my necklaces? My templates are ready to go. However, they have not been listed yet. I'm not ready to have them for sale yet because I'm not quite finished configuring all of the listings, but almost, the prints will almost be here. I'm considering releasing some other artwork as well, older artwork that will go along with the prints. I'm just, I'm not sure. I, I've reached a juncture where the more time that I'm spending indoors working on artwork and with the summer heat right around the corner, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I should spend more time indoors hanging out with my lovely heathens of the internet. And if I'm going to be filming more videos for you, um, I would like to up the quality of what I'm producing a little bit. Now, you know how I do. I am Oscar the Grouch, okay? I like my trash can. I like things old school and simple. I like, listen, I like my trash can the way it is. I'm not interested in turning this one bedroom back cave into a fabulous YouTube studio. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But I recently purchased, I took some money that I earned from Etsy and I purchased this little light that I have here. It's a, it's a little ring light. It's not a fancy three, four, five hundred dollar ring light. It was like 20 bucks. Okay. But this little $20 ring light is allowing me to have lighting, better lighting at night. I've never filmed anything at night because it's just too dark in here, but this hopefully this is going to work. This is the first time that I filmed at night. So when I edit, I suppose we'll find out if it's actually worth it, if my $20 investment was worth purchasing. But if I'm going to be filming more videos, I would like to get better equipment. So perhaps another light, um, a camera, things like that that are going to make 
this art video situation better. I would also like to start purchasing more supplies with the money that I'm earning through my Etsy shop. I, to be honest with you, I make very little profit from my Etsy shop because what I earn from the Etsy shop, I turn it right back around and I purchase art supplies or just other artsy things that I need. So anything that I'm making, basically, I want to reinvest into this channel in one way or another. I want to sell these prints and the profit from the prints. Should I tell you what I want to do with it? I think I'm going to save it. I'm going to save for a future video because I want to release new products, but of course I need the capital <laughs> with which to finance a said product. And if the print sales go well, then it will make what I have <laughs> twisting up in here possible. So we'll see what happens with that, but I will keep you all posted. I'm going to wrap up this wrap up and I will see you again in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, for enjoying my shenanigans. Bentley did not want to make an appearance today. Oh, speak of the devil. He may be appearing in a second. There, oh, there was his butt. So thank you so much for watching. Join me on social media, Facebook, Instagram. I do have a Twitter, but I rarely use it. I think I have about 28 followers on Twitter. So we don't make much use of the Twitter, but hey, if I ever reach Let's pick a number. 100 subscribers or followers. They're followers on Twitter, correct? Then I will make more frequent use of the Twitter. But Facebook and Instagram are just fine. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my adventures. Everything you need to know will be down below. Links to my Etsy shop, my website, everything. Just turn your eyes down below and you'll find everything that you need. I will see you again in the next one.